and here we, we are uh, now uh, I made this uh, template I made this template for um, to mark here the amount of steel that I want for the top plate of, of the anvil and uh, uh, I just uh, uh, lay the paper on the steel marked of course with the red marker uh, now the the center punch fail center here this properly center this properly and uh, I marked here and now we are going to and of course we drill it now I have to anneal that specific place over there before I start drilling first with a pilot hole Oops. First, with a pilot hole, then with a 15 millimeter of bit, this is the biggest that I have, and uh, if you notice, I have uh, all the stock, still I didn't cut uh, here. Now you can see the lines. Uh, I didn't cut, uh, didn't cut it to, ch to shape. I like to drill uh, uh, these big holes when the stock is all together. It's much easier, easier to handle and uh, to drill. Okay, you can, you can see here that I cut uh, the plate, the top plate, okay, from uh, the plowshare. Okay, these are the bits that I cut, and uh, we we stay here. There are in the plowshare is these are holes to fix it. The plowshare to the to the uh, main body of uh, of the plow. So uh, what I'm going to do is to bring here. Uh, I made this plug. Okay, I just cut a bit of uh, the same stock. Okay, it goes over there inside. I'm going to turn it upside, upside down and take advantage here of the um, the the this hole is uh, where the head of of the bolt that fixates the plow is inserted, and so this comes over here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to weld this with the 70, uh, 18. And uh, this hole over here is uh, the beginning of uh, the hardy tool, uh, <coughs> the hardy hole. Okay, so far I clean uh, here the surface of uh, uh, the surface uh, that was the contact with the old plate, all the rust and everything. Now I, I arrange here another another plate. Okay, and uh, now let's see the setup to weld everything. I welded here these, uh, these spacers so uh, I can fill with the uh, welding material here in between. So this goes something like this way. Okay. The, here the 20 by 20 millimeters uh, square tubing just secures everything in place here I left here on purpose this space so uh, the, the the plate is welded here and of course with the, the welding we'll have the tendency to go further uh, to balance either in one direction on, or the other so here with the, with the with this spacer here it's uh, it's going to stabilize a little bit the plate and uh, this is the space that uh, I have to start welding, uh, so it's better start now to finish. Okay, in a couple of hours I managed uh, to lay here uh, something like 50 millimeters of uh, beads, and uh, of course it was expected from the heat. The top plate is uh, completely ondu ondulated. You can see light goes uh, through underneath uh, the the ruler. And uh, the tail over here is uh, pointing down, 
And so uh, the I'm going to apply here some heat uh, on on the top part uh, to hopefully uh, oblige the tether to go up one or two milli one millimeter about. And uh, here I'm going to start uh, cleaning. I, I want to clean here the edge of the welding and uh, start welding, laying uh, some beads also simultaneously here and and here through the length. And uh, hopefully this will get a plate, top plate uh, slightly more straight. I made here a big, big miscalculation that the material would uh, straight itself and uh, my biggest mistake is, is that I did not weld the old plate at the same time. I left this uh, bit of tail and it is always bent downwards as you will see. Uh, here just a picture to show you the dimensions we got so far. Uh, ruler are in uh, centimeters. So this is how far uh, we got. Uh, you see, full welding all around okay now there is the hardest part that is uh, welding this so far uh, I've invested something like uh, 15 to 16 hours of work to, uh, to cut the plate to make the hole to weld everything okay so Using electrode 7018, uh, 3.25 millimeters and 4 millimeters. Now, there is some bending over here, uh, mainly on this side in comparison to the other side, because the plate is, uh, has different uh, thicknesses and, of course, with the heat it uh, bent uh, differently. So then uh, I'm going to I'm going to grind a little bit the surface to make it uh, a bit more smooth. And now we go to the stage where uh, uh, I'm going to connect over here the stock for the horn. These are some pictures for the progress of the work. So this is so far where I got to. Okay, you can see here. I'm, uh, I laid here a few beads around the bases of uh, the the horn or uh, the rounded horn, and this is angled horn. So that's what way it looks like, and uh, is uh, corners like. We have some grinding to do, and uh, let's continue. I went to a friend's house, and you uh, he has a power hammer, and you can see here the different phases uh, that uh, we squared the, the stake or the leg, uh, as you wish, for the for the anvil. I'm building here this uh, step at the bottom of uh, the main body of uh, the anvil. As you can see, these are uh, 30 by 30 millimeters uh, square uh, stock. 
I made here these uh, lousy chamfers to make full penetration weld. I'm uh, just using the main body for squareness to weld uh, uh, square this uh, step. So this is uh, uh, how far we got with the anvil and uh, the angular horn is complete the rounded horn is complete you may well see okay and uh, from the top from the bottom and now it is uh, the stage that uh, uh, i'm going to bring i'm going to put here this uh, stopper these are uh, see square stock 30 by 30 millimeters and uh, I'm going to insert this over here the bases and this is going to be like uh, the foot or the stop after I insert uh, the uh, this is the this is going to be the the spike okay you can see it over here going to be the spike it is going to come over here to make this the to make this the stake handle so this is the anvil upside down now you can see some more details of uh, the bottom part of uh, angular horn or the tail as, as you would like as you prefer here it is the rounded horn okay and uh, now it's time after I welded here this uh, sort of base it's time to uh, weld the spike okay a bit on the long side this is not a leg vise it's not a leg anvil but the main idea you now this is like full of open hand over here you can see more or less the the length it's like uh, uh, 40 centimeters the whole length this will bring uh, the anvil to working height uh, this is made of uh, 50 millimeter uh, round stock as uh, I told you before and uh, you can see that from the forging it is not completely straight uh, it looks like that uh, first it bends like on this direction and then more or less on that direction and if we take a look at it let me try to move here the thing without dropping it to the floor sorry guys Okay, it's uh, just a moment. Some adjustments. Adjustments. Okay. As you can see now, it's also not uh, symmetrical here in this spot. But okay, I, I'm I'm going to weld it over here. I I cut these two chamfers, so all of this is going to be filled with weld okay here I'm going to weld almost all this uh, space uh, the root pass of course is like always it is with the 6010 and then all the rest is uh, uh, 7018 and uh, let's start doing if something is too much out of the way you always have the possibility to place this in the forge and uh, straighten it <laughs> 